Next in Fashion 2 gave viewers colourful vibes and different showstoppers, but the making might not be that encouraging, as contestants had a tough time. The first setback many keen followers of Next in Fashion would see this season is that the making of Season 1 is very much different from that of Season 2 regarding the expertise of designers who were picked for the show. In Season 1, many designers who came on board had their brands running already and had worked with many celebrities, which was evident in their confidence and execution. But something must have gone wrong in choosing the season two contestants behind the scenes because very few had that branding experience and needed to be more versatile, professional, and culturally aware like the previous group. For example, Beltranchi has more experience than the rest of the cast who only started sewing a few years ago and are still rocking a 9-to-5 job that has kept them busy and away from the fashion world. Before coming on board, Bao had made dresses for Jennifer Lopez and other stars, so according to many fans and critics, it felt like it wasn't a fair competition for the rest of the contestants who had just started. You may have wondered how Season 2 contestants were picked for this. Here it is. Many upcoming and great creative designers are invited to submit applications applications, including pictures of their work and samples of the items themselves. And because so many talented people are coming on board, attitude to work and camera friendliness is also a big plus, as the casting team manually handpicks the contestants. The contestants also got to do a design and sewing test before the casting team and attended many interviews to test their personalities and courage. And from so many people who applied, they get to be cut out till the final contestants are picked. But this time, Netflix took a different approach to choose the contestants, which you may have noticed, and that's drama. This season, all the contestants had an emotional story that clouded and affected their creative side. Like in the episode where they all had to do something close to home and their childhood, many viewers feel it's forced to make a story that didn't make the season come out so well. So making Next in Fashion 2 looks like a traumatic event for many contestants. Like James Ford, who's transgender and hates bringing back memories from his past when he's living a different life now. It's usually a sad event to see one of these creatives go home after doing their best to make a situation work out for them on the runway. But this season felt overly emotional. Almost all of the contestants had a moment where they cried, and hugs became very necessary at a point. But season one contestants didn't get this much emotional support, so many viewers think the production team made it up for Gigi Hadid to be able to console the contestants. Although it sounds far-fetched, it may be another way to bring drama to the show. Also, the making of Next in Fashion 2 lacks the diversity that season 1 had, which was the thing that made the viewers very interested in the first season. But season 2 just cut that out. The diversity and meaning that the other contestants in season 1 were from all over the world. The timing is another big concern in season 2, and the contestants are unhappy with it, and even the viewers. Season 1 was more about fashion, and even though timing can never be on everyone's side, season 1 contestants got the best deal and were able to create magic. However, even though the season 2 contestants were less experienced, they were choked up with delivering too quickly. One of the contestants who doesn't work well with time, according to Tan and herself, Amari, got out of the show because she couldn't perfect her design right before the runway, and almost all of her designs looked unfinished, which wouldn't have happened with better timing. It's unfair that season 2 contestants had three days to finish up eight different and unique designs in the finale, while season 1 contestants used two days to create a red carpet dress for their first challenge. So, the production of Season 2 seems rushed and amateurish compared to the standards fans got a taste of in Season 1. In the transformation challenge where Amari went home, many viewers think Amari should have been long gone, as Godoy could have had a fantastic transforming job for someone who makes queer clothing. According to critics of the show, the making of Next in Fashion 2 is also significantly lacking where judgment matters, and this affected some of the contestants in Season 2, who had to go home early even though they had what it takes. Contestants like Megan were left confused throughout the making of the season after every runway presentation. In the beginning, Megan was introduced as this colourful, sparkly and bright lady, and everyone loved her concept. But then, the judges and hosts started pressuring her to go for something new and outside the box, which she did, but without an approving nod from the judges. And according to the judges, Megan's design was also not noticed when she was paired in a challenge with Beltranchi. However, some noticeable things in this season that may not be right are favouritism and emotional blackmail. Deontre's first piece was stunning, but he may have been kept on the show based on his first impressions, as many critics believe Deontre wasn't as excellent in the other challenges as he kept making the same styles. The big winner of season 2, Nigel, continued to portray himself in his designs and remained in the show, whereas contestants like Megan didn't 
didn't make it that far despite trying to shine. Also, this season's theme is, in fact, drama. Because the judges aren't just the usual designers who have genuine eyes for fashion and culture, but famous and dramatic celebrities who would fancy fast fashion better. And so it felt like Netflix didn't bring genuine fashion critics, but people who were only there to pick the outfits they could rock. The one thing you might find encouraging about this season is that the host, Gigi, was able to patronize one of the contestants in this season, which suggests that contestants get supported outside of the show. As the contestants and their host are trying to get dinner, Gigi looks so proud to share her red carpet dress for the American Music Awards. And you can already guess who made it. Isn't that so bow though? Like you know it. You're like, oh that's Bow Trench. Yeah, I know her. I know her. I know her. I know her. And the cool thing about this is that Gigi made it to the best dress list in the custom-made gown at the awards. Also, she's thrilled to show off her dress as she poses and tries to capture the beauty of the garment from many angles. When season two of Next in Fashion first came out, with Gigi introduced as the host alongside Tan France, many assumed Gigi had little to bring to the show because she didn't have what it takes to connect with designers. But Tan and Gigi came with all the support the contestants could get, as Gigi was incredibly emotional and sometimes cried with them. Even even though many assumed Gigi couldn't be that moving, primarily due to Gigi's expression the first time on the set of season two. The lovely Gigi Hadid arriving for the first ever rehearsal. Hi! However, there's an extensive comparison between Alexa Chung, who hosted season one, and Gigi, who hosted season two. And many believe that Gigi is more stylish and brings more colors and attention to the show than Alexa does. So many people didn't like Alexa for Next in Fashion, but are also finding it very hard to support Gigi for the job. Although Alexa never explained why she left the show, Netflix might be aiming at making Next in Fashion more trendy by going for Gigi Hadid. And as an American supermodel, Gigi has brought more attention to Next in Fashion too, with her 77 million Instagram followers and super stylish outfits every show that fans look forward to. During the making of Next in Fashion 2, contestants had such a busy life that they barely had a break to hang out or party. As you've seen, these contestants barely even got enough time to create gorgeous outfits for the runway, so the little night break that they got is only meant to sleep and refresh for a new day or to brainstorm how to flawlessly execute the styles to win the grand prize of $200,000. So it's no surprise that the only time the contestants got to hang out and have fun was during the premiere of season two and see how Keyshawn Williams and the finalist Bao Tranchin enjoyed their short moment away from designing and sewing. In season one, fans could still see a glimpse of the outside, but it's different now. Even though Next in Fashion 2 was filmed indoors, Netflix utilized some of the best locations for the fashion show. Many of the scenes that you see in season two were done in New York City. So the contestants, crew, and hosts used a film studio in Brooklyn to shoot the colorful and extraordinary fashionable moments that you saw on the screen. But all the things you saw weren't created in the United States alone, as the production team also took a trip to London to shoot some episodes. So even though viewers never got to see the exterior view, the imagery that Next in Fashion captures indoors shows how fantastic the location must be. However, with all the drama this season, many fans think that Netflix gave them Next in Fast Fashion instead of the real deal. So what do you think of the making of Next in Fashion 2? Do you think Gigi Hadid made this season so much better? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.